Good morning. I wrap in with your morning flash update for this Monday, the 27th of November, 2023, just after 8, 10 a.m. Central Time. And this is the beginning of that end of the year stretch. Now, what do I mean by that? We're through with holidays until we get into the Christmas holiday season now. So you get three weeks plus now of full trading going into it unabated, and the markets get very interesting at this point. There's a lot going on. First, you do know about the um, cyber sales today, and of course Friday, we saw Black Friday. How did that do? Well, Amazon was up, as I saw it, about a dollar and a half, Shopify up about three and a quarter percent. So. It was a good number. We were bigger than thought. One of the things though, that the retailers are saying, they saw a lot of people buying on what we used to call the layaway programs. Interesting. So is the consumer getting tapped out? Maybe to a degree, why else would you do that? But they're still buying and that's the important thing. And as I said, today is Cyber Monday, so a big sale day. I haven't forgot that. <clears throat> Our Cyber Week sale is now in full swing. Simply put, you can get any of my free courses, the Bollinger Band, the Outside Day course, or the full charting course. So I'm redoing my full charting course. Retails for $600. You will be able to get it for free with any one-year subscription to my advisories. Now, if you're a current subscriber and you have either, it's an example, the morning subscriber video and or the ETF, switching from one to the other is a like. That we won't honor. But going from either to a combo or from a combo to full research or adding to one of them something else, yes that absolutely fits in and what you'll find is you're getting basically the one-year subscription get, get this now for basically free I think that's pretty darn important so again you can take my cyber week special how do you get it there'll be an icon you can click up here if you go into YouTube and you're looking at this, you'll see an icon at the top right that says to do that. You can call my staff at 866-973-2077. And again, it's any of my free courses. These courses typically run $120 to $600. And therefore, you're getting any one for free. And yes, you can give the course away as a gift. We'll work with you on that as well. So that's pretty simple. Remember to call our staff. The link is in the video right up here. You can do that. If you're watching us on YouTube, it'll be right there on the other part. Now, what about the day's news that we come back on? All right. Today, we're going to get new home sales. That's going to come out at 9 o'clock. The one thing we know is we're definitely seeing lower interest rates, not materially, but they're occurring. Will that have an impact in the market? That's what we're going to be looking for. The Dallas Federal Reserve will update their uh, monthly regional numbers, and that's going to be at uh, 930. On Wednesday, I think we get the beige book. We get CPI numbers this week as well, so it's going to be an interesting week. Chinese CPI also comes out. All eyes are going to be on that. And people are not buying into, and I've been telling you, I, I thought the government was going to fail if they were trying to tell the banks, let me get to where we're at in the pricing, here we are, to go in and the banks should loan money. They'll loan the money if the government comes out and says, we guarantee everything you do. Barring that, no. They're not going to have their numbers go sour. Then the Chinese government, especially at the state banks, say, what well, you told us, you, you said maybe we should loan more, but you didn't guarantee it and these loans went south. You're not going to get the bankers to do that. They, too, know the game, and they know how it works, so they'll have to be pulled into doing it. Grain market's still a little bit weaker at this point in time. Bonds and notes, you're getting a continuation of the decline in the rates. We have, on Thursday, the OPEC meeting still scheduled. Which way will it go? News will probably start breaking today as to what goes on. We were a lot lower earlier in the day and we've come back up. Maybe that's a sign that they've gotten a positive breakthrough. You are still, in my opinion, in, with the bullish embedded readings in all three of the S&P, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, not so in the Russell, so I still see them as bullish. You can see the metal markets are still buying into the story that less inflation, no, 
Still the same inflation, very gradually falling, but a lower dollar. Now, the dollar has since rebounded to about unchanged, yet you're still staying up here. This is, in copper, the reason down. I'm giving you the reason. The market is not buying into the Chinese plan that the government has come up to a way to rescue the market. So that's what I'm seeing at this point in time. How do you go about everything? Well, take advantage of cyber day sale. Move your cursor to the top. If you're on YouTube, look for the link that you give a click or call us at 866-973-2077. This is your chance for a one-year subscription for basically, I'm giving you the word, for basically free. I'm Ira. You have a good day.